I hope he doesn't recover all of his weakness. I don't think he will. But even if he does, we're in a much better position to hit him now. Ow. Oh. Hey, Elfrix. Fancy seeing you all here again. I mean, like... Don't use the gambit for it. Just, uh... Are you, are you aiming at the right spot? Yeah, you have to be. Will you attack back when it breaks your last thing? I thought that you wouldn't. Let's find out. Oh, you sure will. Nice. Let's just move you out of the way since you took a little bit of damage there. That does not do as much as I was- well, wait a minute, that's not the good weapon. There we go, much better. Might get a crit. Does a lot of damage. Let's go. Let's go, Hilda! Hilda, you left it on one, Hilda? Are you kidding me, girl? I assume I still really want to kill these phantoms unless I think I can kill the dragon freak this turn. This is what comes of meddling with a sacred tool commissioned by the progenitor god. But clearly it's too late to scold you at this point. For now, we must focus on dealing with the result. There goes one. The thing is, is I know I should probably kill the, uh, the illusions, but this is like the best opportunity to kill him. Or to just damage him a lot in general. Can you kill this illusion? Ah, just barely no, huh? How much can you do to him? Not much. You're not doing as much as I'd like either. This thing is bulky. How much do you do? A lot with a couple of chances to crit. Oh, you only have one use on the Vajramushti, actually, so you're not going to hit him that many times. I didn't realize you were that low. Oh, dear. I should have, uh... Gotten you some silver gauntlets. Uh, this is 40 damage. I'm doing it. I intended to take one for the team, but damn. This thing is way uglier than I thought. Ha, perfect. This will be one for the history books. Didn't get any of the 4% crits. Rip. I didn't think I would, but I was hoping. 18 times 2. Gonna get close. What about the monster thing? Monster piercer? Nah. Get him, Dimitri. I at least want to get two of his health bars depleted. Is kind of my goal here. But I also need to do away with these illusions. I'll have Yuri kill this one. Nice. <laughs> who is next? Dude, who is next? You still have your, uh... Yeah, you still have your gambit, Pog. Can you kill this guy? Oh, easily. You'd take a chunk of damage in the process, though. And you'd only do 16 to him. Well, no monster breaker you would get a kill. Let's have Edelgard get the KO here. Nice, nice. That's two of four. We're halfway there. I couldn't imagine doing this with these units on hard. It would be so annoying. 123, huh? Happy, how much can you do? 19 times two to the illusion. 13 times two here. Use your group flames next time. Go ahead and get him under 100 HP. He's gone now. Transformed into that thing. Sometimes the world's too horrible to wrap my head around. 
I mostly had Happy do this attack instead of attacking the Illusion because I wanted that unique dialogue. I think she was the only one who hadn't attacked him thus far. Sort of the creator getting a little low. Get this KO. I was really hoping you'd dodge that, if I'm being honest. Good heal. Good heal. And then we can have you do some more damage to this fool. Maybe get a crit? All right, you know. Ash only gets crits when they don't matter. Probably just want to go straight for the heal here. I don't remember... I never remember exactly how the monsters work. I don't know if he's going to get all of his shields back right here or not, but I have a lot of gambits to use. All right, here's more of these guys. He did not get his shields back, but he is attacking, which is going to be a problem. I think I can kill him, though. I think I can just, like, get him dead. With everyone attacking, I really can't see myself doing less than, like, 200 damage. I think that's about how much HP he's gonna have. I'm gonna go for it. And then we just Divine Pulse this turn if he doesn't die. Use Caution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caution or whatever. Man, I wish I could use the Vajra Mushti. Ah, oh, you'd really live on five, huh? Unless I got a crit. If only I had the Vajra Mushti. I did not realize that they were so low. That's so upsetting. Can anyone get the 45 here? Like Yuri, maybe? Not without a crit. You might be able to? No. Let's see if you get a crit. Let's go! Get another? Rip. That crit wasn't enough, but still, Pog. Here is, I think, where we use, like, our weakest person, which is going to be Linhart. Yeah, eight times two. It doesn't matter how low in health we get, because I'm pretty sure if this thing dies, the illusions go away. So we're, we're going all in. My, my entire goal here is to just kill him, and if I don't kill him, then we uh, Divine Pulse. 151. That's a lot. I still have plenty of units to use here, though. This is way less than I expected, if I'm being honest. Come on, give me a crit. Did not get a crit. Bad sign. I gotta make sure that all of the units can actually get to and hit. It's fine, I just need to move Hilda over. Hilda is so strong. Ple Hilda, if Hilda gets a crit here, we're like guaranteed. We've got it. I think we're fine either way, because I still have Claude and Constant. Yeah, I think we're fine no matter what. But also, Hilda is the greatest! Hilda! 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 Alright, if there is ever any worry, Hilda said, nah. It's fine, don't worry about it. She's the best. I just gotta get you down to 29, and then Edelgard can end this. Wait, don't you hit for 40? Yeah, we're good. Imagine if he crit that last one. Well, well, well. The best house leader is here to finish it all. What are the chances? See you later, sucker. You can't stop the power of the axe girls. If they can actually hit their opponent, the opponent never survives. You know, that being the final level up is so fitting for how this entire DLC has gone. In all honesty. Well, there you have it. It is finished.
Well done, everyone. Because of you, her restless soul has finally found peace. Professor, I imagine you have much on your mind. Not really. Byleth rarely thinks. My mother. I was there the day she brought you forth into this world. That's, that's a way of saying it. Citri had always been frail. Giving birth proved to be too much for her in the end. On that fated day, it looked as though neither of you would survive. In those final moments, she spoke, saying, My heart, give it to my child. Oh yeah, Byleth's heart like doesn't beat because Byleth has like the crest stone of Sothis or something on Byleth's heart, I think. Because at the end of Black Eagles, like, his heart starts beating again or something? After Rhea dies? I don't remember. My mother's heart gave me life? That is correct. The heart that lies within your chest is none other than hers. Wait, you straight up did a heart transplant? Like, it is Citri's heart? Full on? It was the only way that you could be saved. But Citri loved others, much as a human might. And I loved her in return. Yeah, but why wasn't she buried, though? Citri looked upon me as though I was her mother. And I wished for her to have a bright future. I would not have her buried in the cold, dark soil. Prior to her funeral, I arranged for a fake burial. Afterward, I brought her body to Abyss, where I would sometimes visit her. All right, you know, that's only like a thousand percent creepy. I feel even more inclined to overthrow Rhea now, if I'm being honest. That's a good point in chat. How did you fit Citri's adult heart into baby Byleth? That's not how baby sizes work. I never thought that any find her. I did not expect for such a tragedy to ensue. Boss, there's something you gotta tell me. Was Elfric really just using us all that time? How should I know? I mean, he always acted that way around me, like we were a means to an end. But the church records indicate he founded the Ashen Wolf House 15 years ago. He mentioned he found Citri 10 years ago, so it seems he really did mean well. First. What's done is done. He's gone, and we're here. That's what matters now. You're always so quick to adapt to change, Happy. I should follow your example. <laughs> yeah, you always get to the heart of things quickly. Right then, I've got a lot to take care of now. I need to fill the church in on all the details about how things actually played out. And with my people freed from the monastery prison, they'll need to be accounted for. Good luck with that whole mess. I'll be rooting for you from afar. Surely you'll let us know if there is any way at all we can help. We'd be just thrilled. Hell, if you want, your people can be my people. I could use some good mercenaries to watch my back. Enough already. I get it. It's no less than you deserve. What you have sown, now you shall reap. You made your bed, now shut up about it, pal. <laughs> anyway, what do you figure will happen to Abyss? The church will want to step in, no doubt. You got me. After everything that's happened, things can't stay the same. The church will probably assign an official to oversee things. Hopefully whoever they choose knows how to get along with Abyssians well. Let's worry about all that some other time, yeah? I could really use a tall drink and a long sleep. I'm with you. I hurt in places I didn't even know could hurt. It has been a terribly long night indeed. One I won't ever forget. A terribly long night, but a beautiful morning. <laughs> you mean to say that you are disbanding us? Yes. After speaking with the Cardinals, my decision is final. The Ashen Wolf House 
was originally established for youths who are in need of the church's protection. Somewhere along the way, that intent was corrupted, and it ultimately became a cage for you. The Ashen Wolves are officially disbanded. You can consider this a graduation of sorts. You can doll this up by calling it graduating, but you're the one who sent me to Abyss to begin with. Now you waltz in here and tell us to just go live our lives as if none of this ever happened? Get her, Happy! Get her! You may continue living in Abyss, of course. Abyss will always be a refuge for those who need it most. Your chains have been unbound. You are free to live as you wish now. You ask me, this feels like good timing. This sounds pretty alright, Rhea. After all I have been through, I must say I feel immense gratitude at the prospect of living freely. You're just going to let me go? While I was working with the church, I still did some unsavory things. You have already been judged for your transgressions, Yuri. You have slain the undeserving. The weight of that is yours to bear. You have time to contemplate your actions now. That is punishment enough. What's with the woe is me act? She's saying you're a free man. True enough. It's up to me to determine how I'll live my life now. How I'll make up for what I've done. You made up your mind quickly, despite having ample time to think it through. <laughs> Someone of my many talents must make decisions in short order. I'm in high demand, after all. The Ferdiad Royal School of Sorcery demands my presence post-haste. How could I deny them? Soon, the name Nouvelle shall be renowned all throughout the Imperial Capital. Prepare yourselves. Didn't you already attend that school? Leaving and going back seems... Uh, well, good luck with that. Maybe I'll try to see my family again. It's been forever, but now seems like as good a time as any to do that. The whole thing might be a drag, though, so maybe I'll come straight back to Abyss. I think I'll... yeah. Yep, I'll find a way to hit it big. Make tons of money. Balthus went on to hit up Las Vegas, as expected. It's about time the indebted king of grappling finally paid down all those damn debts. You could always ask my brother to help you out. Seems like a good way to go, really. Borrow from Holst? That's a hard no. Wouldn't dare to trouble my best pal like that. That's enough about me. What are you going to do now, boss? Huh? Who knows? For now, I'll take some time to think. My main concern at this point is taking care of my people back in my hometown. You mean you'll continue your former line of work? No need to beat around the bush. And yeah, that's the plan. It's what I'm best at. But I can approach things differently now. Change how I live. Find ways to thrive in peace, you know? Makes sense to me. I wish you all the best. I hope things go great for all four of you. It sure would be a shame if a war cropped up in the next couple of months. Thanks, friend. Right back at you. We both deserve to live our lives freely. I may end up back home after all this, but I worry about how my rogues here would fare without a boss. Always worrying about everyone but yourself. Stop with that already, yeah? I'll look after Abyss, apparently. There you go, being cute again. I am adorable. Though I'm certain if you're around, Abyss and everyone in it will be just fine. We'll keep an eye on Abyss as well. Isn't that right, you two? Absolutely. That place is a treasure trove of secrets. Just try to keep me away. I trust your motives are not all so selfish, Claude. And yes, we promise to protect Abyss in your absence. Boss! Boss! You can't just leave us high and dry like this! Where will we go? What will we do? I should have known. Humans are adaptable creatures. They'll sort it out just fine. <laughs> Relax, will ya? We all know Yuri's not the type to abandon his pals. He's a guy who always turns up when he's needed. Hell, we should all be taking notes from him. The world's a dreary place. We could all use a little help now and again. As long as we're all here for each other as true friends, we can live our lives to the fullest.
friends. How very anime. You heard me. You're all my friends. You matter. You always will. That seems like a good note to end on. Sure does. Get you later, pals. I mean, friends. With that, I bid you farewell. <laughs> and so it is. Until next time, friend. Is that it? Are we done? That was a nice note to end on. That was a... That was good. I like that. The end! There you have it. Ashen Wolves, aka Cindered Shadows, etc, etc, done. Uh, gameplay-wise? Not fun. Did not enjoy the actual gameplay of the DLC? Is there gonna be, like, credits or something? Hold up, hold up, we might get another cutscene. Alright, save real quick. I want to see if we get credits real quick before I start talking. Oh no, it just takes us back here. We don't get anything. Hey, I can recruit Happy in part one and Yuri in part one. Rewards for clearing Cindered Shadows have been added via DLC supplies. Quests have been added to the main story. Ah, oh, good. So that'll all be really nice. We'll get to see that when I do the Black Eagles run on the channel, which will be happening very soon because we hit that sub goal and it was this was the first sub goal that we have completed now, this playthrough. Uh, Gameplay-wise, left a lot to be desired. I did not like the, uh, the, the balance mainly was the main thing. I think it was balanced really poorly. Uh, some of the maps were just egregious with the amount of enemies, but I feel like... The thing is, is I feel like those maps wouldn't have been bad if I had had some units that I had built up to use myself instead of the game giving us the units that they did, like, at the classes and stuff they were, uh... We're on, etc., etc. So I feel like it would have been. I don't even necessarily think the maps at large were fully at fault. They definitely were. They weren't super fun maps. I think one of the main issues was just like the way the DLC throws you into like level 20 units and all that with uh, advanced classes. You didn't really choose what line to take them down. They don't let you choose which. Um, they don't let you choose which units to bring. They give you the three house leaders plus Hilda, Linhart, and, um, and Ash. So, you know. And then they give you the Ashen Wolves, who are all preset classes and whatnot as, as well. But, uh, just the, the sheer lack of options on what units to have, what your units do, what they're capable of, etc., etc., I feel really holds back the DLC gameplay-wise. And on top of all that, the maps are kind of stinky. If those maps had been put at the end of like a, or had been put at some point in the main story, like chapter, like where the game actually takes place, at like chapter nine or 10, whatever chapter it's supposed to take place on, you know, it's before you get the green hair, after you get the Sword of the Creator, it probably would have been fine. Maybe a map or two would have been like that. That four corners map probably would have still been annoying regardless. And I bet the golem map still would have sucked. But I think if it had just been units that I had built up and like made them the classes I want. And if I had had options to be like, oh, in this map, like the map where we had to race to the end, I could have been like, okay, in this map, I'm not going to bring Edelgard. I'm going to replace her with another like faster, like sword unit. Like if I had Felix available, like I'd replace her with Felix because Edelgard was just especially bad in that map because she was slow, you know, stuff like that. But instead you're like, nah, you're forced to use the units you have because they're the only units you have. And I think that was really to the DLC's detriment and made it a lot less fun, regardless of what difficulty you were playing on. So that, that's my big takeaway. My big disappointment is gameplay-wise. It just did not hold up to actual, like, the main story of Three Houses at all. Um, Character-wise, Constance, I don't really care for. She's fine. I don't dislike Constance. I don't really like Constance. Yuri is pretty cool. I like Yuri. I love Happy and Balthus. Happy and Balthus are my favorites for sure of the, the Ashen Wolves. And honestly, those two are like, they're high up in my character ranking in general after having interacted with them a lot in Three Hopes and now done this DLC with them. I am, above all else, the, the thing that really makes the DLC worth it, I think, is I'm very excited to do a Black Eagles playthrough. It'll be my first Black Eagles playthrough on the channel, but it'll be my second or third time, maybe? Did I play it twice off stream? I don't remember. I, I at least beat it once off stream when I first got the game, but I'm very excited to do a Black Eagles run on the channel and get to recruit the uh, the Ashen Wolves. I'm really, really looking forward to that. I'm very excited for it. 
So, uh, character-wise, great. I liked the, uh, the Ashen Wolves. I'm glad they were introduced into the game. I really look forward to seeing them in the main story. Story-wise, it was fun. Um, I expected them to go deeper on Byleth's mom than they did. It was kind of throwaway for the most part. Like, I don't know. I feel like the DLC could have gone roughly the same even if Citri wasn't there, <laughs> really. But, I mean, it was neat, I guess. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Overall... The DLC was fun. I think the most important part about the DLC is that it's going to make the main game more fun. And Three Houses base game without the DLC was already very fun. So adding more fun onto that is great. That alone is worth it. So yeah. I don't think I have anything else to say. For those of you watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this Ashen Wolves playthrough. I hope you're looking forward to the Black Eagles playthrough. Probably... Probably gonna be a little bit before we get into it. I would wager probably mid-February because I'm gonna be starting, uh, we have another sub goal that was before the Black Eagles playthrough, which is Okami HD. I'm gonna be starting that, uh, tomorrow in stream time for you guys. It probably has already gotten on YouTube by the time this hits YouTube. But Okami HD is next, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna wait until I beat Okami HD to start Black Eagles, but... I'm gonna start Okami HD, and then we have Persona 3 Reload coming out on, like, February 2nd or something. So, I, I would expect to see the Black Eagles play through kind of in that mid-section of February, in between, like, starting it, that is, in between, um, put my controller down for too long, in between Okami, or not Okami, uh, in between Persona 3 Reload and FF7 Rebirth. We've got a stacked, a stacked February this year, holy cow. But, uh, it'll, it'll be here before you know it, so look forward to that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to catch streams live, link to my Twitch channel in the description. I'd love to see you there. Or keep watching on YouTube. I appreciate your support either way. And until next time, farewell.